Biking, wrong. As much as I'd like to pretend that I had been fine with being unable to ride a bike, it had always been something I envied about other people. And so, here I am, swiveling around mile 1 of 30 on my delightfully forest green bicycle. This is the second time I've ridden a bike in my life. Just keep telling myself, this is easy, it's just like riding a bike. As if riding a bike was a thing I already found easy to do. It's mile one. This helmet gives me a headache and my ponytail hurts. I'm not sure if ponytails can hurt, but mine definitely does. Because I'm gripping onto this bicycle for my life. I can't decide if it would be safer to let go of the bike and get off or continue to hold on to storms into fear because it's been several miles now and I have no idea where I am or where anyone else is. I have to keep in mind that I'm lost and also on a bicycle and this is terrifying to me. I look ahead and I see an exit off of the highway and decide to take it while fast cars pass me and blow their horns at me. This fear begins swelling up in my chest like a great big balloon of wussy sadness. I'm not sure I have the ability to operate a bicycle, look ahead of me, and cry all at the same time. Imagine what a newborn baby deer might look like operating a bicycle, except less svelte. That's me, crying at a stop sign off of some exits of some highway that I should have paid more attention to. I clumsily climb off my bike and manage to scrape the cassette of the bike painfully across my right calf. I unclip my helmet, releasing my hurting ponytail and squeezed temples. I instantly feel a release in my skull, headache fading slowly, but tears still rolling down my big baby cheeks. I look down at my leg and see a combination of bike grease and crimson blood. I couldn't help but think about every single time anyone ever said to me, It's easy, just like riding a bike, and how every single time I ever heard that I couldn't help but laugh to myself because I didn't know how to ride one. Last resort emergency contact in the moment, mommy. A phone call to my mommy to match my big baby tears and inability to ride a bike or be an adult. Olivia? I hate that. I hate when my mother picks up the phone almost asking if I'm Olivia. Yes. Yes, mother. This is Olivia. Mom? I reciprocate and then remember I am experiencing a sort of emergency. Mom, can you do me a favor? Can you Google Mark H. Wilson? I don't want to concern her with the details that I am bleeding, greasy, crying, and sweaty on the side of a mystery highway somewhere in upstate New York. I'm Olivia. I am, or was, riding my bike with him and the team, and now I'm lost. Rose, the wife of the world's most cheerful 60-year-old seven-time Iron Man, recites her husband's cell phone number to me. I finally get a hold of Mark, who doesn't feign cheerfulness on the phone because he's actually cheerful. His honest cheer rubs off on me, I hang up the phone, and I find myself genuinely appreciating how beautiful the day is. How weirdly happy I am that even though I got terribly lost on my bike, I had to ride the bike to get as lost as I <laughs> He climbs back into the driver's seat and starts the car. You know, everyone else started to run. It's a 10k. Are you prepared to do that? Of course I am. If I didn't do it, that would make me a wuss. There's only 6.2 more miles to go.